Wu Yongning was a Chinese rooftopper who died in 2017 while attempting a stunt on a 62-story skyscraper in Changsha, China. Rooftopping is a dangerous craze which sees people hang off the edge of some of the world's highest skyscrapers, cranes, antennas or other structures, usually without permission or safety equipment. The aim is to take a jaw-dropping photo, film tricks and gymnastic stunts, and ultimately find viral fame in social media platforms, such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and X. It has a cult following thanks to the success of YouTube channels and Instagram accounts dedicated to the shocking shots. It is actually a Torontonian who is credited with being the first to kick off the trend more than 15 years ago. Canadian-born thrill-seeker Tom Boy is believed to have started the rooftopping craze in 2007. Boy has said in the past, It's in my blood. When I was a child one day, my dad came home from work and found me sitting on top of the fridge. They had no idea how I'd got there, but obviously I just like climbing things. In this video, we'll look at the final moments of the Chinese-born rooftopper Wu Yongning. Wu Yongning was born on June 20th, 1991, in Pingxiang, Jiangxi Province, China. He was interested in martial arts and climbing since he was a child, and he trained at a martial arts school for eight years. He worked as a film extra and a stuntman for some low-budget movies, but he was not satisfied with his income or fame. He decided to pursue rooftopping, a phenomenon that involves climbing high-rise buildings without any safety equipment and performing stunts or taking photos at the top. He started posting his videos and photos on social media platforms such as Weibo, Hushan, Volcano, Huajiao, and Kwai Shu, where he gained more than a million followers and earned more than 550,000 yuan, which is equivalent to $83,000 from his viral content. He became known as China's first rooftopper and Chinese superman for his daring and dangerous feats, such as doing pull-ups, sit-ups, somersaults, and handstands on the edge of skyscrapers, hanging by his arms or legs from tall structures, and walking along narrow beams or ledges. He often performed his stunts solo, but sometimes he had witnesses or assistants who helped him record his videos. He had a girlfriend named Jin Jin, who supported his passion and career, and he planned to propose to her after earning enough money from his rooftopping challenges for their wedding. He also wanted to help his family, especially his mother who was ill. On November 8, 2017, Wu Yongning attempted to perform a rooftopping stunt on the Huai Wan Hua Center, a 62-story building in Changsha, the capital city of Hunan province. He climbed to the top of the building and tried to do pull-ups on the edge of the roof while holding a selfie stick with a camera. However, he failed to pull himself up and lost his grip, falling to his death. The camera captured the horrifying moment of his fall, which was later uploaded online by his fans. Wu Yongning's death was not confirmed until December 2017, when his girlfriend posted a message on Weibo saying that he had an accident while doing a rooftopping challenge that offered 100,000 yuan, which is equivalent to $15,000 as a prize. She also said that Wu did not leave any written will and that his family was in a difficult situation. Wu Yongning's death sparked a heated debate on social media and in the media about the dangers and ethics of rooftopping. Many people expressed their condolences and admiration for Wu, saying that he was brave, talented, and inspiring. They also criticized the lack of safety regulations and social welfare in China, which they argued forced young people like Wu to take risks and seek fame and fortune online. Others condemned Wu and other rooftoppers for their recklessness, selfishness, and disrespect for the law and property. They also warned about the negative influence of rooftopping on impressionable youths who might be tempted to imitate or follow the rooftoppers. Some also questioned the role and responsibility of the online platforms and sponsors that encouraged and profited from rooftopping, and called for more regulation and supervision of the online content and activities. Wu Yongning's death also raised awareness and interest in rooftopping as a phenomenon and a subculture. Rooftopping is not a new or unique practice, as it has been done by urban explorers, photographers, thrill-seekers and activists around the world for decades. However, with the development of social media and technology, 
Rooftopping has become more popular and visible, especially among young people who seek adventure, challenge, and recognition. Rooftopping has also become more diverse and creative as rooftoppers perform various stunts, such as hanging, jumping, balancing, or walking on the edges, beams, or spires of the buildings. Rooftopping has also become more controversial and divisive as it poses challenges and risks for the rooftoppers themselves, the authorities, the owners of the buildings, and the public. Wu Yongning death was a tragic and shocking event that revealed the dangers and dilemmas of rooftopping.